just like California, where most Americans may think all our earthquakes are centered. But California's San Andreas is just one fault zone. There are at least four active earthquake zones that cover this country, all of which seismologists say have had historic eruptions and each could have another catastrophic strike at any time. Earthquakes are a national hazard, and it's in these areas away from uh, California, away from the places we think about, where there can be some of the greatest risk. What about America's heartland? We're on the second most active fault in the country, and that's the New Madrid Fault. It runs from St. Louis to Memphis, and this is Real Foot Lake, 16 miles long and created 200 years ago by what is still today the most powerful series of earthquakes in American history. It happened nearly 200 years ago on the morning of December 16th, 1811. An estimated 7.5 on the Richter scale, it was followed by a series of 2,000 aftershocks over the next five months, some measuring 8.0 and felt as far away as Boston. New Madrid is the biggest fault line east of the Rockies. It extends 120 miles through five states, cuts across the Mississippi River in three places, and slices the Ohio River in half. Even now, the area averages a tremor every other day. A major earthquake here would affect 15 million people in seven different states. Do we think there's a big earthquake on the way for this zone? Yes, we have a history of large earthquakes that have occurred here at least over the last 1,500 years, about every 500 years. And those earthquakes occur as large sequences of events, not just a main shock. New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania have the 70-mile-long Ramapo Fault. These streaks are really all that's visible of the Ramapo Fault, and they continue all the way up this rock. It's one of the largest in the Northeast, and we're really just about an hour outside of New York. Never heard of it? Well, it's been quiet for a couple of hundred years, and seismologists say that's part of the problem. We know in the future, at some point, an earthquake is going to occur. But we don't really understand the rules of the game yet in this area. What we do know is the last major activity on the Ramapo Fault was a 5.2 centered in Brooklyn, New York in 1884. And if that same quake hit today, there are now 8 million residents of New York City. All could be affected by the Ramapo Fault's dangerous reach. One important fault is the one that crosses Manhattan from the Hudson River to the East River more or less along 125th Street. That's a well-known fault. There are tunnels constructed for the water and for the subway lines underneath that cross this fault. And of course, there are two other hot spots. One, a subsidence zone that's just off the Pacific Northwest Coast. It's in the water, but it's pretty active all the time. And the granddaddy of them all is the San Andreas Fault. There are thousands of earthquakes there every year.